explain like I'm 5 why do we round up if something is at exactly 0.5? What's the reason behind rounding up to 3 if it's at 2.5? Isn't it technically equally distant from 2 as it is from 3? It's just a convention. A different convention is to round toward the even number. This convention, called statistical rounding, doesn't bias averages. There is the practical reason you want peoples to be able to round while looking at only one decimal digit. 2.54321 has to be rounded to 3. So it's easiest if every number that look like 2.54x is rounded to 3. Even if it is 2.5000. Mathematically, this means we weigh need the rounding operation to commute with the truncation to the first decimal. This is one rounding method. And there are a bunch of other methods rounding down. Towards zero. Away from zero to the nearest even number, or towards the nearest odd number. In fact, rounding to even is part of the IEEE 754 standard for how computers deal with floating point decimals. There's probably some fascinating history behind why we teach to round up in school. And there are plenty of arguments you could use to rationalize rounding up. But I doubt this has a simple explain like I'm 5 answer. So, there's actually an ASTM rounding procedure that takes care of this. Instead of always rounding up, round to the even. So 1.4551.46, but 1.4851.48, by going up half the time and down half the time. It eliminates the error in a dataset that's generated by always rounding up. If you consider the decimal of 0 then up from 0.5 makes sense. 2.0, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2 2.4 round to 2, 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9, 2.10. That's 5 that round down and 5 that round up. I was taught the even odd rule. First, if there is absolutely anything after the 5, of course you round up. If there is nothing after the 5, you round to the even number. You are correct. You can round 0.5 both ways. However, rounding 0.51. 0.52 etc. should be done up. Rounding 0.5 up makes the rule much simpler. Without any downside to accuracy. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 is 5 numbers. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is 5 numbers. 5 goes up because that makes it even. The way I explain it to my 5th graders they're 9 or 10. Not 5. But I hope you'll forgive that. The mistake is thinking there are 9 digits. 0 is a digit 2. There are 5 digits we round down. 0 through 4. And then 5 we round up. 5 through 9. It's actually a perfectly even split. We just don't often bother to talk about zero since it's pretty obvious that 20 would become 20 when we're rounding to the nearest 10. By point 0.5 really is exactly in the middle between x and x1 and we could have decided to round it down. However, since by point 0.5000001 is closer to x1. We settled on the convention that x5 rounds up to make it more practical and easily recognizable. Now you know that. If you have a 5 in the first decimal place, you simply round up no matter what. If we decided to round down at by point 5, we would have to pay attention to even the hundredth decimal place in case it has a value. Edit. Typo. 
Because in grade school they taught us 0 to 4 round down and 5 9 round up and it made sense to them. Probably because a simple rule was more easily memorized. But in science class years later they taught us a different rule.51.505 etc. rounds up and.50.500.5 etc. rounds to the nearest even number. 2.5 rounds to 2 and 3.5 rounds to 4. Basically saying 0.5 is at the literal halfway mark so 50 of the time it should round up and the other times it should round down. I've never really thought about this before but from a quick and logical think through. 0.0, 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 is first half. 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 is the other half. You're either on one side or the other. 0 is on the left side and already a whole number. Technically, when you're rounding, you still look at if it's 0 it's just a whole number anyway. So you don't have to do anything with it. It's convention. I'm not aware that rounding up 0.5 is more common than rounding down. I usually round up a 5 digit that is followed by non-zero digit. Because Tohata it is closer to round them up. So if you only look at the 5 it would seem 9 out of 10 cases I'm rounding it up and the other case. I keep it. But I'm not aware of anyone else that does it like that. What would you prefer and why? It depends on if we consider the zero digit. And when do we consider the decade rolling over? Do we consider 10 to not count as the rollover position? Or does the decade roll over between 9 and 10 so that 10 is the start of the next decade? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 5 is in the middle. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 5 is on the high side. If you look at all the digits we have, there is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Any higher and we get a number. A combination of digits. Now, if you split all the 10 digits, then we have two equally sized groups. The lowest round down 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The highest round up 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. In a sense, 5.0 rounds to 5.0. I always think like, only one apple can fit in my Ziploc. I have two and a half apples. Ain't no way I can cram that half in the bag. I'm gonna need that third bag. My fourth grade teacher explained it like this if you were walking to school and exactly halfway. There you realized you needed to use the bathroom. It would make more sense to walk the rest of the way to school than to walk back home and then back to school again. It made sense to my 10-year-old self so maybe it suffices here. Because we round 2.0, 2.1, 2.22.3 and 2.4 so 5 numbers to down to 2. We also round 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8 and 2.9 up to 3 so also 5 numbers. You'll have to learn that 2.0 is not exactly the same as 2. This is because 2.0 gives more information than just 2. So you also round 2.0 down. 0.5 rounds up because that makes rounding down and rounding up equal. Having 0.5 round up that means 5 numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 round down and 5 numbers 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 round up. If 0.5 rounded down then 6 numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 would round down and 4 numbers 6, 7, 8, 
Ninewood. Roundup.